Parchment paper. Parchment paper, toothpick, and black string. Uber. 
No, you all get some sleep water when I'm making so much raw so noise. I wish Mr. Macintosh could hear one and all, you know. I know somebody must iron wreck or something. He tired of this raw so thing. Wanna shut up, man? Come on, blah. You called daddy, yes? Hello? Mommy, how are you doing? You all right? Yeah, all right. But I'm fighting a little cold, son. But I'm good. I'm drinking a little ginger. But you know you can't keep your mother down. <laughs> I'm glad I answered the phone, son. You always call it for your father. Gabby, you have your mother too, you know. I know, Mommy, I know. But you know it does be out here. Out there is it's peace. It's peace. And sometimes I call you in there. Most of the time, Daddy say you don't in the church. Oh, you know, I just stay praying for my children and that father of yours. I just stay on my knees for him. <laughs> I know you're trying a long time. I... <laughs> I'm trying hard. I'm trying hard to get him in the church. But you know that man, he's stubborn. You go find him in that pan you have food before you can find him in that church. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Daddy, I was going to call you. Yeah? Gavin, you know, I just worry about you. I just worry. You don't have to worry about me, man. You know, I you know, I'm a, a soldier already. Go handle my story to the best and, and, and thing is. It's you I want to be able to send something for, and you know? Gavin, I know you're fighting life. Don't send nothing for me, son. I wish I could send something for you. Ah, uh, man. I want to just give you everything nice. Yes, I want to make sure you ride. I want to give you a car, house, everything. I know, son. I know. One of these days, trust me, one of these days, man, I will make it and I will bless you. I put everything we are supposed to get, mommy, because there's a real queen, eh? Mm -hmm. I real love you, mommy. Mm -hmm. Just see when you're here, for me, take it like no news is good news. Yeah. I love you so much, son. You know your father tell me what's happening with you. Yeah, it's a little scene here, you know what I mean? But I ain't waiting to worry about that, you know, mommy. You know what I mean? I ain't waiting to worry about that. As a man, I go handle it, and everything will work out by the grace of the Almighty. Tell me, you're going into this thing with a clean heart? Yeah, mommy. You know, you never bring me up, so... Nah, mommy, I check for this girl for mm -hmm. real, and, you know, I don't show she this scene already, and... Nah, I check for sure. You're not a clean heart, man. So you're serious about this girl, son? Yeah, mommy. I know it might seem like a little kind of a rough scene now, nah, but it's just because I try to get myself straight now so I can get out of this place and thing while you're here and do the things where it is I really want to do for you now, mommy. No, I know all of you have men like them. Sexy, big buttons, big breasts. Kind of girl, Gavin. It's important to me. Does this woman know who God is? Yeah, mommy. She know God, man. And and once she with me, you know she had a no God. Mm -hmm. You know, I's a God friend, man. So she had a no God. Yeah, mommy. She know God. She know God. Because God, and this time, that more important than anything else. Because you know, we fighting against spiritual wickedness in high places. I know, mommy. Gavin. One of the things that I teach you is how to pray. I know you know church, and I know you know God. But just because you get to be a big man, so that people just forget to pray. Gavin, don't forget to pray. Pray every day. You hear me, son? I just pray every day, mommy. I just pray every day, just like you teach me. I just pray every day. Yeah. Gavin, the things that I give you before you travel, you have those things? Yeah, mommy. I just have it with me right to... You know what I mean? I don't leave it no way. Yeah. I just have it with me right here on my person, right here, mommy. Just like you tell me. So, Gavin, you're keeping it near you at all times? Yeah, I have it with me right here. Yeah. Right here. So, once you give me it, I never leave it no way. I always have it. I'm glad you called me because I was going to call you. Listen to me. The next seven days, they're going to be critical for you. Where me, mommy? Son, don't ask me too much questions. Just trust your mother. Okay. So, son, listen. This is what I want you to do. I want you to fast. Fast? Yes, fast. Gavin, you know how to fast. 
Yeah, it's a long time I didn't do that. Well, son, you need to do it now. All right. So in the daytime, don't eat nothing. Just pray. Six o'clock, you're going to break that fast and have a little something to eat. How much days, mommy? I want you to fast for seven days. Okay. Gavin, I can't explain everything to you now, but just fast for those seven days. Okay. And there are three psalms I want you to say. And these psalms is for your protection. Say Psalm 61, 91, and 121. And son, after those seven days, I want you to go the next week to Mount Hope Baptist Church on Nostrand Avenue. Mount Hope? Yes. The, the, the Baptist Church on Nostrand? Yes. Yeah. Go and give Mother Mariah, she's the mother of the church, an offering. Son, any little thing you have. Okay, no problem, mommy. Go directly to her. Son, I wish I was there with you, but I know. No, mommy, don't worry now, mommy. I will make it. Son, I have to worry. I'm a mother. I will make it, mommy. I'm telling you, I will make it. Gavin, Psalm 138 makes me know I don't have to worry. That Psalm says that the Lord will perfect what concerneth me. Okay, mommy. And you concern me. And I know my God, so we don't have to worry. I hear I know all the things the people saying about you. Your father tell me that you're from Laventil, and people from Laventil is no good. Yeah, oh. mommy, the, the, the girl mother, she just go like the fact that I'm from Lavanti, you know? And she figure, well, because I'm from Lavanti, I can't amount to anything, man. Son in the Bible, there was a man named Philip. And Philip called Nathaniel to tell him that they had found Jesus, the man that the Moses and the prophets wrote about. And Nathaniel said to him, Can any good thing come out of Nazareth? And Philip said, Come and see him. Son, something good will come out of Labyrinth. I want you to be proud of who you are and where you come from. Yes, ma'am. And we're going to show them that something good could come out of Labyrinth. Yes, ma'am. So I want you to remember that, son. And as Philip said, they will come and see. Thanks, mom. So, son, they're waiting for me in the church. Today we have a big feast. I cook up a storm. And your father said, you're taking all the food in the church. I tell him if you want to eat, come in the church, come and eat there. But you know you would never come. <laughs> <laughs> When that man will come to church. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. I know that already. I tell you, you will quick up going up at first. Well, I know you will work that out, you know. I know you will work that out. They say presents move mountains, right? <laughs> well, you know, you know what they say? They say a sanctified woman, then her home is sanctified. So your father is a lucky man. Even if he's not a believer, your house is sanctified. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He blessed and he don't even know it. <laughs> I have one minute left. <laughs> I like that one, mommy. <laughs> well, mommy, you don't know this thing. I, I yes. think I'm telling me I have a minute. Remember. Yes. Son, everything good and let the blood of Jesus cover you. Thank you so much, mommy. It mommy. is well. And I love you more, mommy. I miss you, you know. I miss you. But just now, man, yes. something will work out and I'll come down and I'll yes. see you. Right? Son, the Bible says that God is able to do all things exceedingly and abundantly above all that we ask or think. Son, I already see you on the plane. It is well. Love you very much, son. I'll tell your father your call. But don't forget, your mother can take a little call sometimes too, you know. All right, son. All right. Bless. Let me call Mother Mariah. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not my son. Who calling me from Trinidad? Hello. Hi, Mother Mariah. I'm Sister Eileen Bishop. Good afternoon, Sister Eileen. Yes, yes. How are you going, girl? I am blessed and highly favored. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
So how come you're calling me from Trinidad now, Mother Mariah? They're waging war on my son's soul. Oh, and I know I need a soldier who can stand with me in the battlefield. And that's why I'm calling you. Well, you know, we soldiers, we have to be ready any time for the battle. I feel it in my spirit the other night, you know. I know there was some kind of trouble. Mother Mariah, there are some forces that mean my son harm. I went down and I see it. In the next seven days, it's going to be critical for my son. And I need to arm him. Well, you know, I am here to fight the good fight. And two could run 10,000. We're going to deal with that. And we're going to cover him with the shield of righteousness. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, yes. I'm ready for the battle. Mm. Mother Mariah, he's my firstborn. He's my first belly. Well, you know I was there when he was born. And you know I was there when we mounted. Nothing is going to happen to that child. Yes, yes. You know what you have to do. And I know what I have to do. And don't forget to send the boy to me. And then we'll talk. Mother Mariah, thank you. Don't worry. Don't worry, Sister Irene. Anything for you. So take care. All right, I'm gonna call this damn Deborah and see what she's doing. Hello, Charmaine. I ain't here from here in a while. I don't want all to pick up man and thing, all this just forget about family. Girl, you know much things I'm dealing with? I'm so busy trying to put all these things in place. But I know Auntie Diana here. Um, we didn't see her. She told mommy she was going to come by. But let me tell you something. Every night, she and mommy talking till the wee hours in the morning. And mm. all the conversation is about you. Yeah? What are they saying about me, so? This is what happened. Auntie Diana say she come and she meet Gabby. And she, all she was doing was just asking Gabby questions about herself just to get to know him. And she said Gabby was disrespectful and Gabby cussed she out. What? Is that so? Well, listen, that is not true. Why mommy saying that? He did curse, but he did not curse at her. She said Gabby cussed she out. In the heat of the moment, he used a curse word. But he did not curse at her outright. She said how Gabby wants your money. And how Gabby don't even have a green card. How mommy know that? How she could go around spreading rumors about the boy? I don't know. She that what she say. You listening to everything my mom says? Charmaine, is that why you calling me? This is the reason you calling me? Well, no. You know, you know the, the reason I call is because the family worried about you. They should be worrying about their own self, minding their own business, about me. How oh, I come to be the hot topic? You are the most level-headed person in the family. We, used to, we look up to you. All the cousins look up to you. So wait. I find somebody who love me and care about me. And I love and care about them too. And I'm doing something wrong? No, but it don't sound like this is the right man for you. Well, let me tell you something. Let your mother know. And let the whole family know, I'm a grown-ass woman. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll let them know. All right. Sorry, I, don't, I didn't call to meddle. All right. So we'll talk later. All right, Shani, later. Bye. She knows she called to meddle. Good morning, Mommy. Good morning, Deborah. Mommy, what happened to you yesterday? I wake up early yesterday for work and you were already gone. Where, where did you go? Early bird catches the worm. Mommy, business places in New York don't open until 9, 10 o'clock. Where were you? Deborah, who is the mother here? 
that this is not my first time in New York City. I have friends that I want to catch up with. You know, I always have some business that I'm taking care of. And of course, you know what my favorite pastime is? Shopping. I'm fine, Deborah. Okay. Well, listen, I'm getting ready to go to work. Did you have breakfast yet? Yes, Deborah. I've had my favorite, my chamomile tea. I'm okay. I'm calm and I'm okay. Well, it has some the leftovers. You can heat up until I get home and then I'll cook something. So, Mommy, what was your plan for today? Deborah, don't, Deborah, I'm not fussy. If I'm hungry, I'll heat up something. I'm, I'm going to be okay. Okay, let's go to work. All right. So, if there's anything, I'm going to have my lunch hour, so I'll give you a call, make sure everything's okay, and I'll come straight home from work. All right? So, we'll talk later on this evening. All right, Mommy? Okay, love you. Love you too, Deborah. And have a good day. Yes. Yes, Mr. Darby. Yes. You can curse at me all you want. You will not be marrying my daughter. Mm. Yes. Mm -mm. That's never going to happen. Never. Never. Yes. You have something for you. Mr. Garvin, Garvin Bishop, Mr. Lavantil, we have something for you. You wouldn't even know what hit you. Yes. Let me show Deborah. Touch. Yes, everything good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hi, darling. What happened? I miss you. Well, you know I miss you more, babe. I do three things today. And who is that? I miss you, and I miss you, and I miss you. Right now, I'm going to withdrawal symptoms. These days we're passing here with me and seeing you, it's like I lose my mind. Remember? It's right choose every night we see one another, every day we talking right to and now just so how the whole program change. You don't know what I know now. <laughs> it dread I know, but you know my mother here and I don't want the drama. So I'm thinking, I don't know what I wanted to for you all to at least meet before she leave, but I don't want the drama, Gabby. It's, it, it, it's too much for you. It's too much for me. I don't want the drama either. But at the end of the day, it's your mother and his family. And somehow, I had a chance here I can make this thing work out. You understand? I a family, man. I was about family. You understand? I would have rather. Yeah, and she could get her back. Or at least come to some kind of common ground now. Sure, no. But I'm missing you so much. Oh my God, you spoil me. You spoil me every night. I'm missing you so, so much. You don't know. Well, here it is going on. Something out of Colton. You know what? I'll pass and check it, but I, I can't stay long because this morning I already told my mother that I was going to come back. And you know, she's here by herself. But, you know, just to keep her company, keep her, keep her calm. But I could pass by a little bit and we, you know, because I want to see you. You know, he's wanting to talk to you on the phone, but I want to see you in person. I want to hug up, but you know, you know, I miss you. Look, well, come and check me. I will come, come outside. We will talk for a little while. I know you can't stay long because you're more than anything, but. All right, I'm coming now. All right. I'm for you. Okay, baby, enough for you. Okay. All right, then. Bye. So what happened? 
<laughs> oh my God. It's so good to see you. To see you in person. See me again. God, yeah, I miss you so much. Girl, that whole scene they hold. Just come on me and get into see it. Just so it's like, because remember we were seeing each other every day, you know? Mm -hmm. Every day, every night. You know what? Yes. You know what I miss? I miss my routine. <laughs> <laughs> I miss my routine. <laughs> well, it looked like as soon as Miss Sterling finished dictating mm -hmm. the scene, it looked like, and when she ride out, it looked like that when you go, you could be able to eat some more roots. Um, <laughs> oh my god, you know, I think about you morning, noon, and night, Gabby. See me again, I ain't gonna lie, you know. But I guess it's for good, you know what I mean? They say absence make the heart grow fonder. Who said that? Some lonely man. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> or some lonely woman. No. No, no, but anyway. What? Gabby, she's supposed to be accounting down. I ain't gonna lie. She's supposed to be going home soon. And when she's gone, that's it. We back to business as usual. I'm not accustomed to this, and I'm accustomed to every night you coming over, sleeping over. I miss, I miss you know, I miss. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, girl, but on a bigger note now, you see your father? I would like to talk to your father. Why do you say he want to talk to you? You know what I mean? It's with everything happening, I just didn't even, we didn't even get to call him for Gabby. I think it's important that you call him. He's nothing like my mother. He's nothing like my mother. My father is a, 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 a gentleman, a, a, a smart man, and a, and a fair man. Well, regardless of however he, he, he vibes is or he character is, you know what I mean? I still had to meet him. Yes. Or I still had to talk to him, you know what I mean? Yes. Because... That's just how I stay, you know what I mean? That's how I grow up. Mm -hmm. I know it's that, you know? Mm -hmm. It's important to talk to a woman, father, who you would have married. Yes. It's the same thing I would have won for me. Yes, you yes. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I... I, I think it's going to be good when you talk to him. Yeah, I go, I go, I'm looking forward to talk to him, man. Yeah, I'm looking forward. I think... You know, it'll be a man-to-man -man conversation, and I know it's going to go better than... Your last conversation. Well, I'm certainly hoping so. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so for real. I really hope so. Yeah, the way all things been oh going God, lately. Gabby, I miss you so much. You know, I miss you too, baby. I miss you. But yeah. like you tell me, I know you, you had to go and meet your queen and thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. Me, I ain't gonna hold you. Mm -hmm. You know, I just get, I'm glad I get to see you. You know what I mean? I'm glad I get to see you too. And I know, well, uh, it's only a matter of time before I get to feel you too. <laughs> but you don't know. Every day, you like, like a life, like a lifetime. You know? Anyway, you go link up, right? Yeah. Because, you know, yeah. cool out here and I know, you know, your mother will be waiting. Yes, yes, she's waiting, but we'll call you. Right? All right. So you take care. Right? Uh, yeah, whatever. Later. Got you. Yeah.